we believe that it's our responsibility to address the great challenges that face the world and that face our clients. And so we work with them to design solutions to these great challenges. Canon Design was, was started in the 1940s as a design firm, uh, at that time primarily focused on architecture and engineering. Now we are in cities around the world and we have roughly a thousand professionals. We consider ourselves uh, thought leaders and so much of the work that we do um, is around the foundational issues related to the opportunities that our clients have. What drives the people here, I think, is the opportunity to positively impact people's lives. We believe that the design work that we do collaboratively with them does allow them to do things that they could not do otherwise. Open Hand Studio came into existence about eight years ago, and it started as um, a group of people that came together in conversation around a table around the question of uh, social impact. We therefore need to concentrate on those who have been disenfranchised or who need the extra support that would not be available to them otherwise in order for the bigger picture to be fulfilled. If you come into this community, your life will be changed forever. Anderson Center is an organization that works with people with disabilities to help them to live a quality life. They come in with a sense of joy and a sense of purpose. We provide a community for individuals with a range of disabilities. They come to have all their needs met, whether it's education, employment, socialization, health care, and this is their home, this is their community. When we think about Annexter, you, what we want to think about is inspiring people to thrive, building communities for people who might not otherwise have that opportunity. This is an old manufacturing building that's been around since the turn of the century, and it's five buildings um, melded together into one building. It's in a building that's very much appreciated by our clients. But when you look around, you see that it's a tired building. We found out about the Annexter needs. It was a relationship with the executive director, uh, Kevin Limbeck, and a conversation that we had from previous organizations uh, led to a curiosity on our part. Designs for Dignity was a partner of ours, and we came together about our space. We knew that they had gone into other spaces and transformed it. At the same time, we were working with Open Hand Studio with Canon Design, and then they brought in um, ECI, Executive Construction. And together we sat down and we met with staff and we, we met with clients to talk about what the needs were, what our functions are. Um, what we could do to improve the space around us. The main lobby area is the first impression. It sets the tone for the atmosphere and the mood of the place. If you look at the space that we came into prior and you walk in the front door that was an overhead garage door with no light coming in, military looking uh, enclosure for a reception desk. A design team that understands the nature of the place, the nature of the clientele, the nature of the people who work there. We're able to come up with an approach that was not something for just any place, but very, very specific to, to Annexter and its mission. What you saw was a Cinderella story. And you saw individuals, really their whole carriage just came up. Our environment has totally changed. When you come up to the building, it looks like a place where you want to be. You want to know, what are they doing in there? You know, when you come into the lobby, it looks like, oh wow, it looks great. We have many designs and kites and colors and beautiful seating. When they put that big glass back there, you got more sunlight to come in, you can see out. And I came in, it's like different. It's like, it's not, it's not the same, it's different. It just makes it feel like you're comfortable when you walk into the building. It gave people hope. It gave people confidence. John Sievertson and the group at Canon Design and uh, Open Hand Studios, they, they are really absolutely committed to doing more and to giving not only their time and talents, but certainly their treasures. When I came here, I didn't know my potentials, how far I could go. And since I've been here, the sky is the limit. It's going and going. Keep flying, Daniel. Keep flying. This experience should say, this actually does matter a great deal. And we can uh, improve human dignity, we can improve the experience of the clients and the people who work there um, through design. Mm -hmm.